Into the Abstract is a collection of artwork with meditative and transcendental qualities from 14 contemporary artists that we absolutely love. The collection was curated in reaction to the always online, the 24-hour available society and culture in which we now live. It's one that provides little time for individual moments of reflection. The idea of this show is to give us a moment to get lost in the artwork and, and enter the abstract space of your thoughts. Each artist brings their own creative expertise. There's printmaking, painting, collage, photography, digital render and even embroidery. And with that variety, each artwork has its own interpretation of tranquility. And they unlock different areas or, or mindsets of contemplation for different people. What I try to do with my painting is put a contemporary spin on the age-old tradition of abstract paintings. Through that love of painting, I've sort of developed a language which has kept changing. Currently, I'm also working a lot with collage. I am massively into the deconstruction of what a painting is typically thought to be. I rip everything up, tear everything apart. I make things bring them back to what they were originally and I'm left with all these elements that are like half made pieces or pieces that were going to be something else that then translate into something completely new. They're all made over quite a, a long period of time so I love the sense of um, the build up of marks and the, the process that um, a material can go through when it's really challenged with its surface is being torn to pieces, it's being really manhandled, it's being walked on, it's being pulled in each direction. Everything has my touch. You'll often see my footprints in my paintings, my, my fingerprints. So it's all about like how I'm handling things and things being incredibly tactile and how I manage them day to day in the studio, whether that's yeah the ripped edges or you know, I, I love my staples being evident or it's all about like letting the artist's touch be very evident to the viewer. I love to show in my work what other people want to hide in theirs and I want to really expose the whole process that my paintings go through. I, I want the viewer to be able to see everything that's gone on and to be able to go right up close and inspect all these little marks or rips, tears, stains and, and for almost time to be sort of captured within the painting. I mean, the viewer can take, obviously, what they would like from my works, but one thing that I'd love them to get from them is a real sense of tactility, materiality, and an engagement with the process of painting as a medium. I love to engage the viewer close up. Their eyes can start delving into how, how things have been made. Is that a brush? Is that a finger? Is that oil? Is that acrylic? Is that ink? How has that come through? Is that from the back, is that from the front? So there's this whole language going on with, you know, the, the inner workings of a painting. And often, because a lot of these works are also collages, they've been built up layer upon layer, so you'll see little gaps and you'll see something behind another thing and think, oh, what was that? So you'll, you'll see the, the progression coming forward at you to be the front layer is the final layer, but you'll get hints of what was before. I think essentially my prints are let's say imaginative spaces that I'm constructing, thinking that I'm going to perhaps be making them at some point, like in the future. For me to be able to produce them, I kind of take myself out of my other type of practice and I just go into another space. 
So I basically make these digital renders of architectural spaces that come from my own imagination. They're realities that I kind of project into this virtual space because I basically make them in 3D, digitally on, on an architectural software. Because I'm interested in architecture and performativity. For me, I, I see these spaces as something that, like there is a potential for an action to be happening. Or like there's something very uh, still about these spaces, but I always feel like there's this apprehension of maybe a ball rolling through or a character coming through. Do you know what I mean? Like something, like the anticipating action. For me, it's kind of a way to process like my internal thoughts. They become these sort of like escapist spaces, like you kind of escape into them. And that's the process that I go through when I'm making them. For me, that's what's quite interesting about them. It's not often that I can have, I, I create something where I don't really think about it and I just feel. Creating like these openings that are not necessarily real, but can allow you to have conversations, whether it's emotional or political things. It's, it's like an empty stage for you to say or do or imagine whatever realities you want to imagine within that space. And I, I, I like the fact that they, they're somewhere between digital and analog in some way because there is this tactility to them. But once they're kind of flattened into an image and once I treat the surface of that image so that it doesn't look so digital, they become almost hazy to the eye with grain-like pigmentations on them. And I think that kind of also lures your eye into that narrative a little bit more. It doesn't push you out as much as, for example, a super HD image of a digitally rendered space does. <laughs> like, I think there is still this kind of romanticism of texture <laughs> in, in the work itself. I like this thing of like, when you're away from it, the image constructs itself, but when you're close to it, it starts kind of breaking in front of you. And I think that's why I kind of put these textures on top or like sometimes I put like fake pleats onto the, like you scan pleats into the computer and then you put it on top of the print. And it, it's like, I don't know, there's always like this tension between, is this a painting or is this a digital render or is this a drawing? Like, I like that confusion. One of the predominant things is allowing us to kind of take a standstill and these Prints kind of invite um, the spectator to take a pause, go very introspective, because that's kind of the process that I go through when I create it. If that comes through or transcends through the work, then I think then my work is done. <laughs> like I go through my, my process and then it's up to um, the spectator to kind of complete that journey, I think. people to take time out of their busy day to pause, engage with the artwork and just spend time getting lost in their thoughts. Because what's the point if we don't stop for a moment to enjoy looking at what's around us and what's in front of us? It's like the, um, the Welsh poet W.H. Davies who said in the opening lines of his poem Leisure, from 1911, he said, uh, what is this life if, full of care, we have no time to stand and stare? <laughs>